This is Jerry Knapp with the brass tacks and hard facts of how nozzle reaction affects your fire attack team. The backup position is a key position in the fire attack team. Here you're going to see the backup man do a poor job in supporting the nozzleman. He's got the line in a position that's comfortable for the backup man, but it's very uncomfortable for the nozzleman. The nozzleman and the backup man are fighting the spring action of the hose line. The line wants to stay straight, and you can see the difficulty they're having. The backup position is key. Getting the line in position and moving in on the fire is our critical and most basic play. The key player in an operation is the backup man. Here the backup man's doing a great job. He's attached himself to the line, he's picking up the nozzle reaction, and he's helping out the nozzleman. The key is he has attached himself to that line where it comes down from the nozzleman. To create your nozzle reaction simulator, we use a piece of heavy gauge two inch PVC pipe with a square cut out so the trainee can see the, the scale. We're using the same fish scale that we use to assess our nozzles. Attached to the hook of the scale is a piece of webbing which will eventually go to a solid anchor. The PVC pipe simulates the hose and nozzle. The nozzle simulated here. Uh, the trainee can then push against the, the scale to read the same nozzle reaction uh, numbers that we got when we assessed the different nozzles. This allows the trainee to really feel how, how much it takes to counter that nozzle reaction. Here's our nozzle reaction device in action. The backup man, he's using the simulator and looking at the scale to determine how much he needs to push to counter the nozzle reaction for the particular nozzle on that line. Uh, if this is an inch and three quarter line flowing about 180 GPMs, there'd be around 69 pounds of nozzle reaction. As you can see, the backup man is only at about 30 pounds. This is typically what we see that the firefighters don't realize how much nozzle reaction needs to be countered. Realistically, the nozzleman is picking up some of that, so the backup man doesn't have all of it. But to have that scale in front of you to be able to see exactly how much nozzle reaction you need to counter is invaluable as a training aid. When the firefighters were standing, it's relatively easy to pick up that nozzle reaction. You can lean forward with your body, but here in a more realistic fire attack position, it's a little more difficult. The backup man has turned himself around to counter that nozzle reaction. Again, he can still see the scale, still realize how much nozzle reaction he has to counter to be an effective and aggressive interior fire attack crew.